let's go ahead and let's prove that the, the double angle for the sine and cosine and the half angle for the sine and cosine for the cosine of theta is equal to negative square root of 6 over 3. It tells you that this is in quadrant 2. So this means that it's going to look something like this. Three, negative root six, which means that the sine is going to be nine minus six equal to the square root of three. All right, so this means that the sine of theta is going to be equal to, it's in quadrant two, so it's going to be positive. It's going to be square root of three over three. Okay, so now we're going to find the double angle of the sine. It's going to be two times uh, the cosine or sine, which is square root of three over three, and the cosine, which is negative square root of six over three. We're going to get two times the square root of eighteen over nine, and then we can. I'll just go ahead and do this all out. So you can break down the square root of eighteen into nine times two. You can pull out this nine; it becomes a three. So two times three, I get six square root of 2 over 9, and I can simplify this down 2, 3, so I get 2 square root of 2 over 3, and this should be negative. I didn't carry that over. Okay, cosine of 2 theta is equal to, we're going to use the cosine squared, so in this case, negative square root of 6 over 3 squared minus the sine squared, which is going to be equal to square root of 3 over 3. And this can be equal to this is a 6 squared, so it ends up being 6 over 9 minus 3 over 9, which is equal to um, 3 over 9, which simplifies down to 1 third. Let's find the half angle of the sine theta divided by 2. And this half angle is going to bring quadrant, uh, it's just gonna, it's just going to take it to quadrant 1. So this can be a positive value. So it's going to be um, plus square root of 1 minus the cosine. So that ends up being plus because it's a negative value. Uh, square root of 6 over 3, over 2. So this ends up being square root of 3 plus root 6 over 3 over 2, which ultimately ends up being just square root of 3 plus root 6 all over 6. Go over here, so I'm the cosine of theta divided by 2 is equal to, still going to be positive because it's going to take it into quadrant 1, plus square root of 1, plus, excuse me, should not be plus. It's a negative value, so it's minus square root of 6 over 3, over 2. It's equal to the square root of 3 minus root 6 over 3 over 2, which ultimately ends up being square root of 3 minus root 6 divided by 6. That's it for that one. Okay, that's all. That's how you prove those four formulas.